Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Let's get the shrine, since we're right here. I've surprised the timing. Just, I came here, I got to this location just as the Blood Moon was rising. I mean, it was, it was up a little bit in the sky, but it still had a long way to go before it was gonna go away. Anyway, we have a modest test of strength. We can actually wear armor now, so let's do that. And let's actually equip some equipment, because... I mean, we don't have to worry too much. It's not the, the hardest kind of fight, but anyway. Modest. Here we go. Also, I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned that the yellow stamina wheel only goes away when you run out of green, basically. So it's a little bit of extra reserve. But it doesn't recharge, so... Ow! Pain. Attack me. Ow. Oh, here we go. Here we go already. Do some damage. Okay. Do some more damage. Oh my goodness. Don't shoot me. Ow! Why are you shooting me so much? Oh, get it back away. Okay, Rusty Claymore is badly damaged, but that's okay. Ow! Why are you shooting me so much? There we go, Rusty Claymore is gone. I don't want to keep that, sir. I'm quite happy with this plan. Hit me again. Do it. Do it. Attack me. Too early. That's fine. Attack me. No! Don't do that! Attack me properly. Oh, spin. <laughs> spin? But why spin? Okay. You're not gonna... You're not gonna make this easy, are you? No. Spin again. Spin again? No, you're gonna start spinning. But in a different way. I should probably equip another, another bow. Oh my goodness, don't go that crazy. Oh, nice shot. Okay. Can you doing your thing again? I think so. I mean, this is working. Oh, nice shot again. But it's running low on health, so it's gonna start going for its desperation move. Oh, and my Thunder Sphere broke. Okay, then. Guess I'll move on to the next weapon. And steal his stuff. Now, do I have anything that I'll drop for this shield? I don't know if I would. Um. Yeah, I'm happy with those shields for now. Let me equip, uh, this one. Is that... Yeah, that's down. That's the... Yeah, that's a downgrade. So let's skip over that for now. And also, I didn't notice those... That, that like, swirly orange stuff up there before. That's cool. I like that. What do we have here? A <laughs> frost blade. Guess that will replace the stuff that we lost. Okay, well now that that's done, I actually want to climb up this platform again. Uh, because this is actually Cass's main hangout, so... If I can, I'd like to see 
what else he has for us up here. Once I actually make it up again. Is there anything on the second platform? Doesn't look, look, ugh, doesn't look like it. Speaking is hard sometimes. Okay, get up there, Link. Or just go through the ground, that'll work too. But you're not gonna do that. Oh, get up there, get up there, get up there. Oh, I mean, I still had yellow. But I guess Cass isn't here anymore, but his, his book is still here. So let's read this. Cass's journal. I leave here a record of my search for the ancient songs of Hyrule. Cass. Ancient song of Pagos Woods. It seems that a song has been passed down through the ages in the Pagos Woods area of Farron. The song references mythical creatures such as dragons and giant serpents. I wonder if such creatures ever really existed, or perhaps they still exist today. So I believe that this book will um, talk about all the different locations that you can find Cass for a shrine. Uh, but I don't know which ones we've done. Yeah, Ancient Song of Karuto Tower. We've we definitely heard that one. Or on Lagoon. Here, yeah, there is an ancient place, a song, ancient song about the place in Lanero called Horon Lagoon. The winds in Horon Lagoon are supposed to be very intense. Many need to travel the area on foot. Gitano Bay. Seems there is an ancient song about an oddly shaped stone pillar in the open water of Gitano Bay. It details something that was hidden there before the Great Calamity to be claimed by a lost hero. Not sure what's hidden there, but it's meant for the, our lost hero. It must be worth a fortune. Wash's Bluff. Um, heard whispers of an ancient song about the Night of the Red Moon. Traditionally sung at Wash's, Wash's Bluff. I believe this is where we are now. No one quite knows why the Red Moon rises or what happens in the span of that night. These are all of the ancient songs that I have discovered. I will continue my journey, hoping the day will come when I can pass them on to the Champion of Hyrule. So, if you've missed any of those cast shrines... Uh, you can find out information about them there, except one of them isn't actually a shrine, which we'll look at at some point. But anyway, so for now, I'm gonna just leave that as a staff now, and let's actually go somewhere else. I think I want to actually go over to Varuta, maybe? Oh, actually, let me go over to this shrine over here. Because there's some more shrines in the area that we can look for. Also, I think I made a few mistakes with my tracker, possibly. Because I think there are some shrines that aren't there or are in the wrong spots, possibly, that I've... I might have just tracked them wrong. Um... So hopefully that's not going to be a, become a problem. Let me see where I am because this is a little bit confusing. Okay, let's uh, go up this direction, I guess. So yeah, I might not actually know where all the shrines are going to be, which is concerning. Uh, not even the regions that they are in because of mismarking things, I guess. Who's shooting things? Guess it's one of the bokoblins. Oh my goodness! Yeah, there's a bokob. The silver bokoblins just burning things. Okay, there's a shrine nearby that's not on my tracker, so that's a problem. But anyway, let's go get that. It's in this direction. 
Also, I think that those trees up there are going to have something for me. So I might mark that just for future reference. Oh, more enemies. Cool. But anyway, hearty truffle. Very nice. I believe over this way is where the shrine is. But it's in a bit of a an interesting place. Let's go down into this hole. Because if we switch to bombs and go down here somewhere. Um, there's a little thing over this way. And if we blow it up. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, no. Oh, this is not a good place to be at the moment. I don't even think I can stand up here. I want to jump off and glide. And if I can blow it up, that's a good start. Okay. We need to get out of here now. Which is fairly simple, I guess. But there's that hole we need to go into, I believe, for the shrine. I'm going to be careful with my stamina. In this water, probably. Hopefully. Oh, Link, what are you doing? Link! 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 Please climb up, please climb up, Link! Oh, Link, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, 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 that was scary. Kind of. Anyway, let's go up using this updraft here. It's a very strong updraft, so that's why I recommended using it to get back up. And now, if I can get back down to that hole that I've hopefully blown up. So I can actually get in there. Yep, and there's the shrine. It's a little bit interesting to try and get into because of the rocks in the way. If you have bomb arrows, you should probably shoot it open. I have bomb arrows, but I didn't, I didn't do that, so... This whole thing is, uh, bombable. Which is nice. And easy to make it easier to get in. As long as you don't blow yourself up. Anyway, let's get this shrine. Which is not on my tr tracker, so I don't know <laughs> what to mark down. A modest test of strength. Okay, then. Let's see how this goes. I can probably get a few quick times in if it doesn't try to shoot me. Okay, take this. There we go again. Use the axe. Thank you. That's good. Do some more damage, and we're about halfway through his health. Oh. Oh, he's doing that. Let me get back away. So I can try shooting him with an arrow. No perfect shots, but that's okay. I missed out of arrows again, unfortunately. I think he's going into desperation, possibly. Oh, yes he is, and I just broke another sword. That's okay, because we've got some new ones, actually, that I can get rid of. So there we go. I think I'll leave the axe. Probably a good plan. I mean, the frost blade's not great, but, uh, you know. Just want to keep it, just because. Sapphire. Very nice. I need to probably see if I can sell some stuff so I can get rupees.
Okay, well that's that done. I also want to check that marker that I placed down, so let's go do that. And then there's a few other things we can do in this area as well while we're here. Up we go. Okay. I believe the place I'm also planning on going to nearby here also has some guardians around it, possibly. And it's been a while since we've been in the Akala region. There's not really any shrines left here to get, though. Other than this one, which is technically in the Akala region. But there's probably some cor the wrong one. Actually, here, let me just do that. And there we go. Make all the trees match, and we get a Korok. Okay. So now, let's go down to these uh, extra islands off the edge of the world. Kind of cool placement for them. Yep, there's a Guardian. I don't know where to go across to look over there, but I, I believe there is a shrine on one of these islands somewhere. Let's start, I think, probably at the lowest part of the map, that is, over this way. There is a bridge that connects across. There's also a updraft that we could use to get across as well, I believe, or even just up if we fall down all the way to the water. There's some stuff in the water down there. Some enemies. Oh wow, luminous stone and a sledgehammer. That I don't need, so. But you know, the luminous stone I can use. Probably. I might be I might just be selling it though. Okay. Apparently I passed that moblin over there. So let's go across this bridge, which looks like it's going to break fairly quickly. But I guess it could actually probably support a fair bit of weight, surprisingly. Oh, and I'm going to guess that there's going to be Koroks around here that I don't even know about. Easily. I feel like that's a Korok down there, though. Hang on, let me go down and also probably change my equipment since it's a thunderstorm, suddenly. Um, I don't know what's electric and what's not in terms of bows. Swords are right. So I think, if I'm not just wrong about this, if I push this over this way, I think... Oh, don't fall off, please. No. Can I get over this place? I want to push this a little bit further in. To about there. And if I... I don't know if I can actually get this one. If I push this into the middle... Oh my goodness. No mind. <laughs> cool. Um, how about if I stasis this and then jump, flash. Will that actually work the way I think it will? It will. Cool. If I get this a little bit closer, will this... I don't think this is a Korok. But it could be. Nope. Okay. I thought if we lined these all up like a six figure thing. Might be a Korok, but nope. I guess I'll just push these off the edge then. Pro hopefully don't need them for anything else. Other than fake Koroks. 
I really don't like being pushed at all. Yeah, let me... Oh, I can't do that. I could also use bombs to try launching them. That's a bad spot. That's fine. Oh, actually, that's an idea. Throw that in there. Then... Uh, I have to wait for my stasis to charge. Oh, there goes the bomb. Okay, then I'll do that one. Blow that up. Throw that in there. Blow that up. Just recharge. Yes, it is. Blow that up. And there it goes. Oh, there's actually a torch down here. Or oh, sledgehammer. Okay. I know what I'm looking at. I can see. Let's keep exploring these islands, though, because I know there's a, a shrine around here, I believe. I can't go up because of rain. Storm was over fairly quickly, though. And I might be able to use updraft, actually, to get up further if I can find it. There we go. Oh, wow. What is that over there? Is that a moblin, or...? Oh, it's these guys. Some Octorox. Get rid of those. There is a Korok here, though. So let me, uh, dive into that. And this is technically, these islands are part of the Laneru region, I believe. There's that, and let's go get... The other stuff, the stuff over here that was dropped. Thunderstorm's lasting its full time, I guess. I'll go up. Oh my goodness. Three big hearty radishes. Okay, doesn't look, look like there's anything else up here to speak of. I guess that tree was struck by lightning and then destroyed. Let's go to the next island. Across this bridge. Looks like there's a cave down there, maybe? Oh, I'm in trouble. Okay, I'm fine. Just jumped off at the wrong time. I do like this, these islands. They're cool. Just the way that they're designed. Ah, uh, that rock looks suspicious. Maybe. You know, anything can look suspicious if you look at it hard enough. And think that there could be something. Um, oh, hello, Guardian. Oh, please, stay there. Link, and don't fall off. What's that sound? Is that something that I need to be concerned about? Probably not. It's fine. Okay. Nothing up here. Let's have a look at that suspicious rock, as I said it might be. It does have a Korok on top of it, by the looks of it. So I guess I was somewhat right. But still. Um, let's use this updraft. Oh, there's a shrine nearby. Cool. Just need to find it now. Guess it's on the top island. At the lowest point. Oh dear, and the most guardians apparently as well. Oh, I see what, where I think it's gonna be. In this hole over here. Oh, but there's also a Korok. I want the Korok. This is gonna end badly. Uh, I might equip... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna equip. Let's go stealth armor and hopefully... Not get discovered by the Guardian. <gasps> Don't make noise, Link. Oh, 
and there's a Korok there. This is going to end really badly. Oh, stop. There's the last one. Let's go get that. Okay. Well, at least we're collecting Koroks fairly well while we're up, while we're up here. There's quite a few on these islands, apparently. How many have we got from these islands? One, two, three. There's almost been one on every island, but I didn't look on around all of the islands. Also, this is just a small island at the uh, other end that I didn't notice before. Probably should have. Okay. Stasis. Bombs, apparently. And it did nothing. Cool. Good job, me. I did it. Oh, and I need to wait for it to recharge now. Okay, then. Let's see how far I can send this flying. Oh, it broke. Okay, cool. Well, there we go. That's going to go flying now. In a completely different direction than I thought it would. Cool. Let's go grab this shrine, then. Drop and rise. Okay. If you say so. Okay, well, um... Need to be a little bit higher than that, so let's... Figure this out. Oh, hello, block. Might go get that if I can, then. We just change this around so that I'm on this one instead of the other one. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. Now let's grab this if I can. Get out a bow. Oh, I don't have any regular arrows. That's fine. Get rid of that one and that one. I've also almost run out of ice arrows, which is surprising since I had so many before. I might want to get that other barrel off to start off. Let me grab that and actually put it up here for now. Just in case I need it again. Okay, rise, block, rise. And now, fling me. Ah, pain! I got flunged. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's get across here and grab this. It did what I wanted it to, but I got hit, and we got a diamond. It's all the treasure in the shrine, apparently. That wasn't a very big shrine. Oh, get up there, you. Fine. Time to fling myself again, because I'm so good at flinging myself. Okay, full power, right in the middle there, and then go! Didn't take damage that time. It's probably because I jumped before it launched me, or tried to launch me, so it hit me instead. Anyway, Okay, well, I think I'm done over here, so let's actually, uh, let's, I think I can get to the, this island over here from here, but I think there's probably a better place to actually find a statue. Actually, there is. There's the, the temple. Why would I go anywhere else? Because we have 12 spirit orbs at the moment. And I should probably use them. Let's go back here and use this goddess statue. The, the best one there is. Let's get some heart containers.
Last one. We're doing well right now. We might actually be well enough to actually beat the game. But we also need more better, better armor stuff, so... Guess I can actually check that now. To see how that's going. I'm gonna draw out this episode a little bit longer than I would normally. I also need to see if I've actually got enough rupees for that uh, thing in the desert as well. Which could be another fairy fountain. Let me see what happens if I sell some stuff. I did get some diamonds and rubies, so... Hello, I want to sell. Um, okay, here it is. Just gonna sort again quickly. Oh, we've got a lot of stuff. That's good. Um, let me sell with the basic stuff first. All of these. That's 1,000 rupees. That's a good, good starting point, I guess. Uh, all of these. 660. Uh, I guess Luminous Stone. 630. Topaz. 1260. Good again. And I think we are actually going to have over 10,000 10, then. Yep. Now if I can get the last uh, 4,000 I think for the rest of the other armor that I wanted to get. That would also be good, which I think I can do if I sell my diamonds. <laughs> That's all of my gems gone. Okay. Well, I'm glad that's over, and I don't have to worry about money too much for now. So I guess let's go to the desert and check that, uh, thing. Oh, it's cold, apparently. Let me equip that and that and then that. There we go. It's a good balance. So, let's see what this is. Ah, you've returned. Now, you have rupees for me, right? Hand them over, quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need one ten thousand rupees. That's the one. Here you go. Just had these lying around, anyway. Thank you, you are too kind. Ah, the power. It's overflowing. And of course, it's another fairy fountain. <coughs> ah, well, hello there. Mm -hmm. I'm the great fa earth fairy, Tara. I am the oldest of the four sisters. I have been watching your activities from inside my bud all this time. And haven't you been busy swinging that sword around, adventuring? I'm not uh, just making wild ac assumptions, you know. I truly do see all. I'll prove it right now. I'll predict what you uh, are thinking right at this moment. Hmm? You're probably thinking, can't we just skip to the part where she enhances my clothing, right? Well, I <laughs> guess so. Looks like I hit the mark, hmm, ahem. What an impatient person. Why don't you show me your, the clothing you want to, to have enhanced? Depending on what materials you have on hand, I should be able to enhance your clothing, but it all depends. Huh? With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing to the max. Well, let's see if I actually have anything that I can enhance to the max. Oh my goodness, I need Lionel Guts for the rest of my soldiers armor, and I need a lot of Bokoblin Guts for my Hylian stuff and Amber that I just sold. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be a while. Till I actually get everything maxed out, probably. 
if I can get everything maxed out. So I can't get the level 4 yet. So I'll show that at some other point in time. But for now, let's actually just upgrade my armor. Understood. Now close your eyes. We've already seen this before. Okay, level 3. Uh, soldier Greaves. Now I can get the rest of my Snow Quill armor upgraded, because that's been needing an upgrade for ages. And luckily this fountain has stuff for it as well, around it. What was the other thing I needed for the next level? Oh my goodness, rubies. And the Redless Alpha's Tales! Yay! <laughs> and Sunshroom and Fire Key Swings. Okay. But as long as I'm upgrading a, a different portion of my armor, that's at least bringing up the <laughs> the uh, the average defense overall. So I need a lot of ice key swings. I need a lot of Aww. a lot of materials. Not all of the armor sets have mm -hmm. upgrades, but a lot of them do, and they all go up to level four. Mm -hmm. Assuming that what they are originally is level zero. Okay, rubber armor increase. There's also set bonuses, which I don't even think we've had a look at yet. But I believe my Snow Cool armor is all level two, and then is my Gerudo. Vile level 2 now? Yes. So I can also do that. I can also increase the rubber armor again with Vault Fruit and Yellow Choo Choo Jelly. So let's do that. Mm. <laughs> okay. There's still more we can do. I uh, can't do that though because I need some more Vault Fruit. Uh, but I can do some Barbarian armor with some Lionel Horn. Only one piece of armor though, so let's do the mm -hmm. armor thing. Very nice. <laughs> I'm gonna actually have to hunt down some of the materials for some of some of these things. Um, how can I still do this? Zap Shroom and Yellow the Zappos Tail for the rubber armor still. Aww. Bring it up to level 3. The rubber pants are still at level 1, I think. <laughs> what is the last requirement? Okay, Topaz and the Zappos Tail. So I'm... Stuff that I just sold and more stuff. That's fine. Mm. I probably shouldn't be upgrading this yet. Oh well, mm. it's too late now, I already did it before I realized that I shouldn't be doing it yet. <laughs> and I'm probably going to be mixing it with other things anyway. Oh my goodness, it needs ancient cores and more ancient shafts. I am going to leave that for now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we'll meet again. <laughs> we will, because I have to get a lot more armors upgraded. So now, let's actually have a look at a set bonus, since I can do that now. So... The Desert Foe has an extra thing of shock res uh, damage resi resistance when it's level 2 and you're wearing the full set. The Snow Quill has unfreezable as an extra set bonus after level 2. Um, I don't think the armor has a set bonus. I don't think the Hyling Gear has a set bonus. And I don't know what else is level 2 at the moment. Zora armor? Well, that's already got Swim Dash Stamina up. Uh, Flame Breaker needs more stuff. Stealth needs more stuff. Barbarian Armor needs more stuff. I don't think the Radiant Armor can be upgraded. And... I don't think the Salvage gear, Salvager Gear can be upgraded either, so... That's all the set bonuses we have currently. There are more, but we need the rest of some of the sets, and we also need to upgrade them. But anyway, for now, that is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. 
and I'll see you all next time.